William here, fitnessforbackpain.com. I want to take a quick second and show you um, some simple steps to improve your bracing of your core. We all talk about, at least in the back pain realm or space, we talk about bracing the core. You gotta brace your core. When you're, when you're bending over to pick up a pencil, when you're grabbing your kids off the ground, when you're hitting your dog from eating out of the trash, whatever it may be, you've got to know how to brace your core properly. We're not just flexing our abs. So stay tuned, I wanna show you exactly how to do it, some tips on how to know it, make sure that you are doing it right to make sure that next time you bend over, you don't blow your back out. All right, so when it comes to bracing the core, what it's not is this. That's hard. To some people, that's a braced stomach. It's not, it's not a braced stomach, okay? Um, big issue there. Another issue that's not a bracing stomach is this. I'm sucking in. That, it may be a little bit tight, but it's not a braced stomach, okay? <sighs> Bracing is something that you have to master on the most elementary, fundamental level. Because if you don't do it, every movement you do, whether it's brushing your teeth, whether it's fixing your car, whether it's grabbing bags and throwing them into your, to your van or your truck, picking your kids up, washing your dog, whatever it may be, the most simplest things you do every single day are causing you back pain. So you have to break apart and audit what you're doing wrong and fix those little small tweaks that will make lasting effects. Because again, remember, back pain is the accumulation of bad habits and bad positions over a long period of time. So if you reverse that, the cure to back pain or to beat back pain, you have to accumulate healthy movements and positions over time. That's just, you can't, there's no way of going around that. You have to do that. So I want to talk to you about bracing, okay? Number one, this is what bracing is. How I know that I'm bracing. I take my hands like this. I squish in, okay? If you want to get crazy, you can grab your fingers and basically squeeze everything, okay? What I'm going to do is I'm going to brace and watch what happens to my hands. All right, so I'm not bracing, I'm bracing. Not bracing, I'm bracing. So my hands are going out. It's not just here going out. It's not sucking in, they're not, it's, they're not just staying still. Everything from my sides to my front to my back, I'm bracing, okay? So that's step one, make sure you know how to brace. A great way to get into a good bracing position is just a one or two breathing cycles, okay? So I'll show you an example. So I'm gonna exhale. At the end of my breath, I'm bracing. Everything here is tight, okay? Um, another thing real quick before I get too far ahead of myself, bracing is not just in here, it goes into your hips as well. So one important key trick um, or just a key element of bracing is your hips. What are your, what's your butt doing basically? Um, for someone like me, I have dealt with anterior pelvic tilt for a while. I'm, I'm a recovering sufferer of, of, of an anterior pelvic tilt, which I'm fixing and it's doing great. I'm having great progress, but it, it, it's a work in progress. So what you gotta remember when you brace, before you brace, is get your pelvis aligned neutral, okay? Because what that's gonna do, instead of being like this, you're gonna align neutral, so everything's nice and tight and squeezed. Then I'm gonna breathe, exhale. As I'm blowing out, I'm contracted. Everything is super tight. My bucket, my butt is tucked, tucked under. Core is braced, and before I go to my movement, I'm gonna fill my chest cavity and fill my belly behind all those contracted muscles. I'm filling with air. Okay, so that's the most extreme version of bracing. If you were to come down and grab this coffee table that you can't see, but if I were to grab this coffee table, lift it up, I'd have to brace as if I was about to deadlift or squat or lift something heavy. Um, you have to be able to grade your bracing. So bracing to brush your teeth over the sink versus grabbing a 50 pound bag of bird seed, two different bracing. You can't brace the way you brush your teeth 
when you're lifting a 50 pound bag off the ground. So remember that, you have to be able to grade or change or transition or fine tune the intensity of your brace. So a simple brace is basically just doing this right here, squeezing in, that's a simple brace. So if I were to go grab this, my book bag that you probably can't see, I would brace my stomach, hip hinge, and go to grab it. Um, everything you do from turning over in bed to getting out of bed, to getting out of your car, you have to have a subtle brace. So you have to think about getting away from just flexing your abs, your, your, the anterior portion of this, um, and learn to brace everything. So every movement you do, every bending that you do, everything is braced, okay? So remember, go through the test, pushing in, that's, that's how you know that you are bracing. Bracing is not pushing out, bracing is not sucking in, it's, it's contracting everything around it. If you're gonna lift something heavy, chair, lots of books, bags, heavy bags, exhale, brace, and before you lift, feel all those contracted muscles behind those contracted muscles with a bunch of air that, that builds that, that torque, I guess you can say, or just that it, it just puts a lot more force behind what you're doing and, and the, the, the bracing is just better. Um, and then if you're gonna find, if you're gonna dial that back for brushing your teeth or tying your shoe or whatever, just you don't have to squeeze as hard. You don't have to suck in a bunch of air before you go grab a pencil off the ground. Just be mindful of your brace, okay? So this is William, fitnessforbackpain.com, reminding you to think before you move.